I am way out here on the west coast of Ireland making a video about the Irish rainforest, but that's not what I want to show you right now. I'm walking down to something I think equally bizarre and interesting. It might only be those things to me, but hear me out. You see this little line of dots here? Those dots are fossilized footprints. They're about 385 million years old, and they're some of the oldest evidence we've ever found of a vertebrate walking on land. So when we talk about like fish walking out of water and evolving into land animals, that's him. The prints were found by a geology student named Yvonne Stosel in 1992. From their size and spacing, researchers could infer what this animal looked like. A very early amphibian, about a meter long, with four stubby limbs and a big paddle tail. It looks a heck of a lot like the giant salamanders we still have today. I am over the moon for salamanders. I think they're the coolest. I love going out, flipping over rocks at home, trying to find them. A few months ago, I went to Japan to make a video about the Japanese giant salamander. So this is kind of like the original salamander, right? Before the original salamander, the only vertebrates were fish. Some started living in shallow water along riverbanks, and over tens of millions of years, they evolved features to live on land. The original salamander probably lived in a swamp-like habitat, using primitive legs to walk around in shallow water. Sometimes it would leave the water and walk around in mud, leaving behind these prints. Evidence like this is exceptionally rare. This is one of just a handful of examples, and the oldest one still in its original setting. I'm so fascinated by salamanders and also by unique archaeological sites like this that tell us things about where we came from. It's crazy that we can find something like this still. 